it's a damn shame What the world's gotten to For people like me People like you Wish I could just wake up And it not be true But it is Oh it is Living in the new world With an whole soul Yo I felt what my man said Right here man Right here Right here What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Vessels TV. How y'all doing out there? I hope you're doing well. Me? How am I doing? Oh, too blessed to be stressed, man. God got this, man. If he if he's been blessing me, then he's gonna be blessing you because he is not a respect of persons. And I feel blessed, too blessed to be stressed. And I'm gonna I got a video coming up, so keep keep watching for that. Um, I'm gonna be explaining what I mean by too blessed to be stressed because I know some people have an idea of blessings. Um, and I want to, I want to clarify it for you from my heart, how I feel about blessings and make sure you be a blessing and go check the Etsy shop. Move the link down here below. It's going to be like stuff floating around me and stuff. Um, go get some of the merch, go get some of the good clothing. We got some shirts. We got some pants. We got dresses for women. We got hats going on. I put up the, the make America believe again hat. Um, we got a lot of things going up there. Make sure you click that link and make sure you like, share, subscribe and comment and do all that good stuff. Get that algorithm working in our favor. And I say ours because we are in this together. All right. We're on this mission to get people saved, to get people closer to Christ. And if you out there watching aren't close to Christ, then I hope that I can be a vessel pouring out into you because that's what God has done for me. He has let I let God pour into me so that I can pour into you. And hopefully that you will get this good feeling of this blessings. And I was blessed by watching this this video we're about to watch. Um, it's by somebody who is very popular right now in a good way. It is Oliver Anthony. He's got a song called Richmond, North of Richmond. And I think it's an incredible song. I think his music, all his music that he comes out is incredible. And we're going to sit here. We're going to react to it because I, I listened to it already. I watched the video and I, I just got to I, I got to touch on some stuff for you guys. So hopefully that you can be blessed even even the more by the song if the song hasn't already blessed you. And if you never heard this song, you're welcome. Well, I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for this little pay so I can sit out here and waste my life away. Mm. Drag back home and drown my troubles away. It's a damn shame. What the world's gotten to for people like me, people like you. See, he's talking. See, this is this is the kind of music right here. It's it's heavy in the words, in the lyrics of what he's talking about. And he says people like me and people like you. He is not talking about specific people. He's talking about all of us. All of us can feel this song. All of us have felt this way. All, some, some of us are feeling this way right now. Man, this song is great. I wish I could just wake up. And it not be true, but it is. Mm. Oh, it is living in the new world with an old soul. Mm -hmm. Rich men, north or rich men, Lord knows it all. Just wanna have total control. Mm. Wanna know what you think. Wanna know what you do. And they don't think you know, but I know that you do. And it's tax to no end Cause a rich man mm. Cause a rich man mm. <laughs> Hold up He just spit a bar right there Your dollar ain't worth nothing Cause it's taxed at all in Yo I, I saw a video recently And this girl was She was sitting there And she was like Really like losing her well, She wasn't losing her mind But you understand She was talking about how you go to work Right and you work hard, you get a paycheck after working your hard, busting your tail all week, every you know, for two weeks straight. Some people get paid bi-weekly. And you get this check. And the money that you earned from working was taxed. Like you pay taxes on that money you earn. So say you you earn a thousand dollars from working, you're getting about nine hundred dollars, maybe, you know, roughly. I'm just, just throwing out numbers. So that was a hundred dollar tax. 
right? And then you take the money that you got when once you cash a check or deposit or whatever, and you go to a store and you go buy something, you know, wherever it is, food, clothes, whatever, and you pay taxes on it. Again, you pay taxes on that money. Now you're taxed because you're buying something. The good that you're buying caused you to, that money that you just... So now that $900 is taxed again and it dwindles down even further from taxes. And then the person that you're paying the money to, the, the whatever institution, the, the store, the supermarket, whatever you're paying the money to, they're receiving that money and they take that money and they're taxed on that money because they received that money. They, 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 they have to pay taxes on that money, right? For receiving that money. Not only do they have to pay taxes on receiving that money, <laughs> they take and they buy stuff, buy the goods and stuff that they're, you know, selling to you and they're taxed on it there. They're taxed on buying the goods and stuff, wherever, the, whatever materials they need, you know, whatever, like if it's a restaurant, then it, the ingredients and, and, the, and the meats and stuff like that. You know, if it's a clothing store, the clothes that they buy, even though they buy wholesale, they still pay taxes on it. So now they're being taxed on that money again. And then, and then they got to pay their workers. Then they got to pay their workers and they pay their workers the money and the workers that they get, that, that, that they pay, the workers have to pay taxes on that money. Money's taxed again and again and again and again. And it lose, I'm, I lose my mind thinking about that. I, I know I just, I know I just hit some of y'all and that, in, in, in your head and went, that that light bulb just went psh, and yeah, because you, you was like, wait a minute, that's so true. <laughs> I know it's crazy. I wish politicians would look out for miners and not just miners on an island somewhere. Uh, that right there, there's a video we'll talk um that I have up. It's about the the migrants that recently that they were housing in in Chicago in the hotel and they probably do in other places. And, um, you know, the government spent so much money to help out people who are from other countries, you know, and kids, you know, any just people in general in other countries, but they're not spending it on the people here. Lord, we got folks in the street, ain't got nothing to eat. Nothing and to eat. Whole beast, milk and welfare. <laughs> We're not gonna touch on the obese smoking welfare. That's pretty funny. But there's people on the street here in America who need food, who need help, who need clothes, who need shelter, but they're spending money, our tax dollars, again, <laughs> with tax on and 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 they're using that money to go and feed, clothe, and shelter people who don't even live in this country. When right here at home there are people who need it. You gotta take care of home first. I'm not gonna go out there and clean somebody else's house. And my house is a mess. I'm not going to go out there and pay somebody else's bills and my bills are backed up and I can't pay. I'm not paying my bills. I'm not going to go and do that. I'm not going to see, see a need. I'm not going to have, you know, my kids in here starving and I'm going to go across the street to somebody else's house who has kids and feed their kids and leave my kids hungry. I'm not going to do that. That that doesn't make any sense to me. So this country should live by the same principle. It's a simple thing. Take care of home first and then you can take care of other people when, once you can. All right. Just like I want to do. And how you, would you help me take care of home and, so that I can take care of other people afterwards? Like, share, subscribe. Cost you nothing. You ain't going to be taxed on a like. You ain't going to be taxed on a subscribe. You ain't going to be taxed on a share. Share it all over the place. Every social media you got with everybody you know. Send them in a text mail, emails, whatever you got to do. <laughs> just, just send. Let's get this algorithm working in our favor so that I can go out there and be a missionary for real. Like, do, do, do the work for real here. In the great America where there's people who need it here in America, people who need somebody to, you know, give them some clothes and give them some food, help them get a shelter, help them get on their feet here. I want to be able to do that. And right now, I, I have to take care of my house first, you know. But once you guys do all that, like, share and subscribe, I mean, we, we, we get me to a million subscribers and all that stuff, then I'll be able to do that. All right. <laughs> shameless. I am shameless. Let's go. Etsy shop. <laughs> that, that hits me every time. If you're five foot three and three hundred pounds, taxes ought to not pay for your bag of fudge rounds. <laughs> it's true, man. There's a lot of people who are milking the system, who who are not buying essential food, 
They're buying a bunch of junk that they don't need, and they're and they're taking advantage of it. And there are a lot of people who need it. That's why I don't I don't think it should be done away with, but I do think it should be like that. Like you should they should really dig deep into the who's living off of it and do they really need it? What are they really using it for? Are they even trying to elevate themselves off of it? I think there needs to be more of um, stipulations for that. All right. Men are putting themselves six feet in the ground because all this damn country does is keep on kicking them down. Mm. Lord, it's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Mm. All it is, living in the But I know that you do, because mm. your dollar ain't this, and it's taxed to no hand, cause the rich men, North the rich men. You can tell this dude is genuine. You can just feel it. You feel the emotion in his singing. And you can just look at him and know that he means these words. This wasn't just lyrics written down to, to tinkle I've in your, been selling in your mind. My soul. Working all day, overtime hours for this little pay. Nice. Shout out to all the dudes out there with the beards, you know, BBC Big Beer Club. Um, yo, this this song was incredible. I hope it was a blessing to you. It was a blessing to me listening to the song. I'm gonna make sure I blank out, you know, the curse words, but um. I get past all that. I understand, you know, some, some people struggle with, but I mean, I struggle with things. I struggle sometimes with, even with my tongue. So, um, it's a, it's a very good song. It's a, it's a, it's a great song. And I know God has blessed him with this gift and he's using it properly. And to know that he turned down millions and millions of dollars just because he didn't want to sell his soul. For, he wanted to put out his music the way he wants to put out his music. And, and that, that was inspiring, man. So shout out to him. I'm going to leave a link in the description for his his channel so you can check out all his music, check out all his videos. Um, make sure you like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff, like I keep saying. Um, and hit the Etsy shop. Get some of this merch. We got the Vessels merch, allowing me to be a vessel. Let God pour into you so that you may pour into others. That's what the Vessel motto is. That's what God has been doing for me. So I'm going to help and take what he's given me and pour it into you so that you can do the same for other people and we can get more people closer to Christ and more people for the kingdom because this world is, is it like, look for which we faint not for which cause we faint not. But though our outward man perish yet, the inward man is renewed day by day for a light affliction, which is but for a moment worketh for us a far more exceeding and ex an eternal weight of glory. Why we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen for the things which are not seen are temporal. Well, the things that which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. We look at all the stuff that we're going through and we, we, we struggle, we go through things and we look at it and we're all down and out about things. God's telling us, don't worry. It's just for a moment. Like this life we have is just a speck in time compared to eternity. There's, 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 there's beautiful, wonderful paradise at the other end. When you love God, blessed is the man that endureth temptation. Oh, that, that scripture was 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 16 through 18. This is James chapter 1, verse 12. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. God is promising that, that he has greater life for us. Once we move on from, from this body, once we out this earthly vessel, and we in our our, 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 our heavenly bodies, we up, we up there in heaven, we are wherever, wherever heaven is. I, the Bible says that he's going to turn this earth to a new earth and we're going to dwell him and God's going to be with us. He's going to be in our, in the, and we're going to be in the presence of him. And that's going to be beautiful. You want to partake in that. You want to be a part of that, you know, whether you're a believer or not, 
I want you to understand truth is truth. So if you're not a believer, I hope that I can be a light and a beacon and a vessel to help you come closer to God and come to God and learn the truth that God is the truth. God is the Jesus is the way, the truth and the life, you know, and I, I believe that wholeheartedly and I hope I can be an inspiration to you. And if, you know, you don't choose the same path that I that I've chosen, you know, you know, I, I pray for you and we can still be cool. We can still be friends because your journey is your journey and my journey is my journey. My journey is going to take me, to, you know, I pray to my purpose. My purpose is to be a blessing to you um, so that God is pleased. All right. This is Vessels TV. Like, share, subscribe, leave comments and make sure you hit the Etsy shop. Get some merch. I'm out of here. Peace and love, y'all. Y'all stay safe.